Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Ways. How y'all doing today? We're coming down and uh, taking this old boat out. We want to bring on down to the boat dock. My son's with me today. We're going to see if this thing floats or sinks one. Uh, I better turn that down for a good copyright strike. Get a, I got already got one on my last video. You're gonna get a demonetization to hear what I said. <laughs> it said road engine water 500 feet. I've got to plan this out, figure out how we're going to do this. Uh, my parking brake bug don't work great in reverse. In uh, oh okay, so. We got the old policeman here, which I got all my paperwork, law enforcement. So we'll just see what we can do here. So uh, uh, let me back up a little bit here. Afraid that thing's gonna get. What am I looking like over there? And get a little straighter. There we go. Straighten her up. I don't know where I want to set it up. So we'll get everything ready here, Bob. Right here. And. Because I got to uh, see. We got to uh, get our chalk blocks and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Gotta get this off here. know even if this battery works but um, I really don't know like I said it gave me a hard time charging I had to use the other charger to even get it going mm. so but it says it has 10 volts those galvanized you reckon uh, I think so you have any sandpaper you think that's what it was it's possible galvanized anything makes it hard to get a connection it's not like this I, I, steel. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, galvanized always adds like a layer. It's kind of like zinc. Well, I'm going to, uh, we're going to hook the troll motor up uh, first. Let me get my, um, my tripod. Sorry, guys. Get y'all on a tripod here. All right. Yeah, because um, this little motor, Gavin, doesn't have reverse in it. It don't? No. You have board? So we'll have to use the little tro motor to get us out there. I use these things that you uh, gave me. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, they got some use out of them. Yeah. What's it on? Look good. I don't know how 
my beak will, I don't know if I need to pull these up. You want me to be on the boat or? Yeah, I need to get these props up. Maybe these need to be tied or something, but it'll be fine. They should have like a little pin to pull in, you know what I mean? Little, yeah, little I'll pin. have to figure something out on that. Well, I'll get in the boat and then I'll just hold it up. Um, well, I'm gonna need you to chalk it. Chalk the truck? Yeah, when I get okay. when I get down in there, uh, just go up there and chalk the truck because my e brake don't work. Oh, uh, okay, in reverse? Yeah. I wonder why that is. Mine didn't either. Um, that's untied. Here, all right. About, I don't want to get on where my power's a little slick. Got me? Well, I was going to tell you, I mean, there's still about four foot of dry. So, we'll just, uh, if you want to, hop in there and uh, I'll start cranking her out and pushing out on it. I'd say it'll slide I do too. I do too. Hello. Are you guys going or coming? We're uh, going. Are you? Yeah. Y'all going to fish? No. Oh, I'm just, try, just, trying out the boat? just trying it out. All right. Yeah, I just bought it, and I don't know if it floats or what. And <laughs> that's a 1959. <laughs> yeah. You got a vintage there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, that could be an experience. Yeah, that's what started it all. I bought that at a flea market for $20. Wow, that's a good shape. Yeah, and I kind of painted it. Stuff, you? Well, you've so. got it fixed up looking good. So. Well, you all right, Bubba, crank you out. Oh, I have to. Did I sit up front a little bit? Um, let me yeah, set I this up here. Kind of so. Get rid of this annoying beat. Where 
language when you come back. Don't be alarmed. I'm more worried about getting this truck back out of here, Nathan. Well, the boat seems cool. Let me go get the chain, man. My boy's submerged right now. All right, buddy, see if you can kick it back and get it over to that boat dock. Where are you plug these things up at? <laughs> All right, guys, this is what I'm worried about getting this truck up. So, y'all sit over here in the passenger seat. All right, guys, go park the truck. So nice down here at Greenbow. But we got a bunch of nice lakes here in Kentucky. Uh, this one here is really nice because uh, I, we camped a lot down here when I was a kid, so it's very special to my heart. This little place is. I'm burning up. Sure am. All right, let's walk down and get in the boat, guys. One thing about driving an old vehicle, you don't got to worry about locking them up most part, most part of the time. And you don't got to worry about scratches and all that. I had a little uh, coupe uh, Saturn, a little black car. It was beautiful. But I could not keep the scratches off of it. Every time I turned around, somebody was dinging it in Walmart. Something was always happening. Where are you going, bub? I gotta find my keys. Okay. I don't put my stuff Hold on, guys. You gotta find your keys. Okay. Yeah. We saw something up in the tree. Mm. All right, guys. We're going to hop in the boat. Here we go. So far, she's still aboard. She's still floating. It's a little spongy to get in. That's an easy way in. You're going to rock it no matter what, though. Sure, I've got nothing. Let's try to put your weight towards the middle of the can. There you go. Oh. Smooth as butter. All right. Uh, you want the captain's seat? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Should we untie that one? Uh -huh. get, yeah, we'll get all this stuff untied, guys. I'll be right back. She hard to do all this and hold the phone. Yeah. My hat just said that in the floor, bub. Where all this water is. I don't think it'll hurt it. Yeah. 
easy now, it's aluminum. You're pour, <laughs> you know, pour it too tight, it's not to see it moving. Oh, I see what you're saying, okay. Alright guys, we'll get out here a little bit deeper. We'll get past those fishermen down there and we'll try that little motor out. This is the wake anyway. I think they're only supposed to idle at five miles an hour. I forgot that we can't turn it like good to that one way. I don't know what to do about that unless we move that that motor over. Well, is it mount in the front? It can, I don't think that one it probably don't matter where you mount it as long as because you can turn it at 360. Yeah, you can turn it real good to that side. That's 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 the situation right there. Yeah. Heck yeah, where we're going. Wait a minute. Can we just mount it like right up here? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's try that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might be a little, a little crooked, but that's better than no steering, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, shit. They put them on their sideways all the time. Yeah. That ain't no piggy. Yeah. Uh, it's all this little little stuff we just got. That's why I wanted to bring it out before we plan a fishing trip. Get the game forked out. Yeah. If I loosen it, tighten this sucker up. I'll die. That's good, Bubba. Don't grab me. Hawked on. <laughs> <laughs> You're like me, over tight and stuff. All right, we're good now. It looks like we got oh, some debris over here, Bobby. Well, we got plenty of turn now. Yeah, so. yeah. Kind of stay over in the middle because look, there's trees over there in the water. Are we turning? A little bit, but I mean, we're kind of fighting the flow of water. Keep it kind of away from the, yeah. All right, guys, well, I'll be back when we get out to deeper water.
Now going across, they took a lot of juice. I guess we need to go across. Uh oh. Oh man. <laughs> she died. We got her going again. The drum motor went haywire though. So, we don't know what happened to it. But we're going back up in this old cove here. It's hot out. It's about 90 degrees. Yeah, I got her back running again. Hopefully she'll stay running. But uh, I'll be back when we head back to the dock. I'm going to have to put a fuel pump on it because it runs out of gas. I was talking on my YouTube channel. But other than that, she's doing good. The camera. But yeah, I was saying, tell the... We're going to get a fuel pump. It'll probably shut off. Maybe it shuts off to see how it's getting low. It's probably going to shut off right in a second. Yeah, we're going to have to put a fuel pump on it. Um, I kind of figured that when I got this in the mail and seen that that port, that gas line was going to be fed uphill. So, we're, you know, it's gravity fed. So, I'm going to have to put a little fuel pump on it, see if that works. And if that don't work, I have to order a carburetor that's got a... I wish these would turn, but I've tried to turn it. It won't turn, so... But we're headed back to the dock, guys. See you guys up here. It's a whooping train. I can't see him. It's a snipe. He's just sitting there. Yeah, guys, it died again. <laughs> no gas in the see how it's no gas in the lawn. Maybe prime if it starts up a little faster. I did see it's getting it in there. It's just sitting there. It ain't scared. Oh, we're getting pushed backwards. We're supposed to be going forward. Can't take a wrench on that thing and twist it up some? No. Really? Really, I tried. I tried when I first got it when it came in the mail. Yeah, Is that a bird? Standing straight up? I can't tell. I don't know what that was. All right, guys, we're getting a little bit closer. Show motor try to work again for a minute. But uh, it conked out. It gave us one more four foot, I think. Gavin's rowing the boat. He's doing a pretty good job, too. We made some distance. Getting ready to kick on this motor. Yeah, we definitely got to get a fuel pump for this. Or a new carburetor. 
something's got a better design than that. Which Gavin had a good idea. Um, get a throttle, like a carburetor for like a mini bike or something. It's got the throttle. And that way um, we can set something up up here for a throttle handle. So it may go at that route. But all right, guys. I'll see you at the dock. back on the truck all right guys we're back here we'll get her back on the truck we'll be right back yeah all right guys boat didn't sink so that's a good thing headed back home there's the law enforcement's boat the wildlife guy all right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, hope everybody having a great weekend. Tomorrow's Monday, so have a great Monday, and I'll see you all again right here on Redneck Ways. Bye, guys.